This is a review of the grade eight skill with Pythagorean theorem. I'm gonna do a question here, and then we'll take a look at some homework questions. And then um, there's a, another example, and then some more homework questions to go along with that. So the first question here is to find the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the side on a right angle triangle. You always wanna look for that square box in the corner that's the right angle. And I like to make an arrow, and this is always going to point to your C. So you probably remember this A squared plus B squared equals C squared equation from grade eight math. And this is what the Pythagorean theorem is. The other two sides don't really matter which you label A or B. But you have to make sure that you use this arrow from the 90 degree angle to get to to get to the hypotenuse that's across from the 90. <clears throat> then I'll use these numbers that I have. So A is seven, seven squared plus five squared equals C squared. Remember that seven squared is seven times seven. So 49 and five squared is five times five, which is 25 equals C squared. So then adding those up, I get 74 equals C squared. Now to get what um, the C value is, the opposite operation is a square root. So I'm going to take the square root here. C is the square root of 74. And then this is going to end up rounded because it's a decimal. So I put that dot above the equal sign to show that I've rounded and that's 8 point, whoops, 8.6. And I make sure I put units. So you can see the measurements up here were in centimeters. This would be 8.6 centimeters. So there's a couple of practice questions on the next two slides. There's six where you're just using Pythagorean theorem to find those. One thing to note on 1C is that these little tick marks here and here make mean that, that those two sides are equal. So that side that I'm highlighting and the other side that I'm highlighting are both eight meters. So, and that shows up on 2B as well. Those sides would both be 4.6. And then there's some word problems where you have to kind of use a diagram and you're gonna figure out, for instance, here the length of the path here the length of that uh, pipe. So you could, when you're solving a word problem, it's gonna work the same, but you just have to use that diagram or draw a diagram and then write a therefore statement to answer the question. So you can go through and do those two slides of homework for practice questions. The next example I wanna look at is a little bit different. So when you're doing Pythagorean theorem, you always, again, wanna take the right angle and make it into an arrow and it points to, so if I kind of look where that arrow is pointing, it goes to this side over here. That's my C. And last time we were looking for the C, so when we have the equation being A squared plus B squared equals C squared, it was easier if we were looking for the C that that was already the number by itself. But now we don't have that. Now we've got A and B are the two shorter sides, and I'm actually looking for side B. That might be labeled with any letter. It doesn't have to be an A or a B. So if I put in this information, I get 35 squared plus B squared equals 175 squared. I'm going to do the squareds, 35 times 35. And then 175 times 175, or if you have a squared button on your calculator, you can do that. Now to get B by itself, we have to subtract this 1225. It's positive, so we have to take it away from both sides. So now I've got B squared here equals 29,400. 
Now we're kind of back to where we were at the other one. We have to do the opposite operation, which is a square root. So the square root of 29,400, that looks like such a big number, but square root will make it much smaller. And this is 171.46, and that's in centimeters. Make sure you have your units. It always makes sense to look back at the question. This hypotenuse was 175, so that's quite long. Um, and this one looks almost as long, and it's 171, so that seems to make sense. The last thing to do for the Pythagorean theorem assignment is to finish up question 8 and 10. These are ones where you'll have to find a missing side that is not the hypotenuse. In this one, you're going to have to draw a diagram. You've got a ladder leaning against a wall. So I always like to draw the wall and the floor and then draw my ladder on a diagonal if you've ever kind of leaned a ladder up against a wall or a house to try and climb up to something. And it says that the ladder is 4.9 meters long. So then you can fill in the other information and solve that problem. So this is your assignment for Pythagorean theorem. If you have any questions, please just give me an email.